Here are the five EDC items that have changed my life. And by this, I mean these are the things that I carry every day. It's not just everyday carry. I literally have these on me every day. The only time I change it is if I'm flying and then I don't take the knife. But otherwise, these are with me all the time. The first thing is my wallet. So I've probably had this the longest. I switched to a minimalist wallet like this, which is really just a card holder. And in this, I have a few essential cards, a little bit of cash for emergencies, which is often handy. And then one last thing that I've been trying out, let's see if I can get it out of here. So I do carry this Rich Arts multi-tool in my wallet. And I find this useful because it has a cross head, a flat head, uh, a bottle opener and a hex wrench. And as well, you can use this as a trolley token. So I've been trialing this for a few months now and I'm finding it quite useful. But all in all, it's a fairly compact setup. This particular wallet, you can pull the cards out as you need and you can see I have cash. In this case, it's £40, uh, which is enough if I need to buy petrol, if I, if I have problems with a card or anything like that. But I found this wallet really useful. The best thing about it and the thing that really changed it for me is that this is small. I don't have room for anything else other than this, and it fits in my front pocket. Fitting in my front pocket was really key. Less chance of losing it much safer if I'm out and about. It's much harder to pick my pocket if it's in my front pocket. This particular one is a Pell Toro. I got it from Amazon and it's in leather. So that's the first item of my life-changing EDC. The next two items are on my keychain. So I have my car key and my house key. Now I don't need a key organizer because I only have these two keys. Any other keys I need to have, I make sure that they're linked either at home, where we have hooks for them, if it's to do with my garage or something else, or I have in my work bag, if it's a work key. So I keep it really minimalist, just have my car key and my house key. So my two items here are the Gerber shard and the torch or flashlight. Let's start with the Gerber shard. You might have seen my other video. I first started carrying this when I lost my favorite Victorinox Swiss Army knife um, when I went through uh, airport security and they took it off me. Since then, I've been carrying the Gerber Shard, which I can take with me if I fly. It's flight friendly and it at least gives me a few tools. So I have two flathead screwdrivers, a pry bar, and a nail lifter and this is really useful i use it all the time for opening paint cans uh, and other things like that it also has a cap lifter and then at this end there's a 2d phillips screwdriver and this can be quite useful as well you can also use this as it's sort of pointy you can use this to take sellotape off of cartons and again i've got this in another video so the gerber shard has really been a game changer for me because it means I always have a multi-tool with me on my keychain all the time. The third thing, which is fairly new for me, is to have a flashlight or torch on my keychain all the time. So this one takes a AAA battery. It's the Olight i3e EOS. Um, it's really small. It's no bigger than any of my keys. The nice thing about this is that it means that I always have a decent torch with me. Now, I know some of you are going to say, well, there's a light on my phone and most phones have that. But there is a real benefit of having this with me because I always have my keys with me. Sometimes I don't have my phone and it's great to have this. The other benefit is that the light from this is more focused. It's much better to have this than just rely on the light on my phone. 
this is just a twist. It's only got one one light rating. I think it's about 90 lumens. Um, I can't be sure on that, but I use this, especially now it's winter. I use this virtually every day. So that was item two and three out of my five key items. Item number four is my watch. And I have this with me all the time. Now I know people are going to say, well, I have a watch on my mobile phone. I have a clock on there and that has an alarm and it tells you the world time. But there is something special about having your watch with you on your wrist. It means I don't need to keep looking at my phone. I can just turn my wrist and I can see this. If I'm flying or somewhere else where I put my phone out of the way, just a quick look and I can see what the time is. It's great for if I'm in meetings, I can see when the meeting's due to start and when it's due to finish. I have a much better focus on what the time is by having a watch rather than just using a phone. This particular watch is a Citizen EcoDrive. I have another video about this if you want to check that out. The big benefit of this is that it's waterproof and because it's an eco drive, it's powered by light, so I don't need to change the batteries. And it's when you change the batteries that watches stop being waterproof. I chose this one. This is a has a titanium strap, which means it's light. Uh, it means it's, it's reasonably OK looking and it's fairly rugged as well. It does have a date in it, although, to be honest, uh, at my age, I find it difficult to see the date, so I tend not to use it much. Sometimes I use the second hand on the watch as a timer, but not so much. It's really just to give me an idea if a meeting's due to start or when it's due to finish. So that is my fourth item, my watch. And I wear this literally every day. Now the fifth item is a knife. In this case, I probably have two knives. Um, this is my Victorinox Midnight Manager, which you might have seen some of my other videos. It, it does tend to crop up a lot. This is my most used tool that I carry. What I like about this is that it's in my fifth pocket or my, or my right trouser pocket, if I don't have a, a small pocket there. So it's always with me. And the big benefit of that is because I have it with me, I use it. It's a secondary flashlight if I need it. And the benefit of this one is it's only on when you press the button, so you don't use the battery much. It uses a very small cell, which you can change as needed. I think you can see it there. It does have a few tools on it. So first of all, it has this combination tool, which has a decent Phillips screwdriver. This is perfect for those small screws that hold the battery compartment closed on toys. Absolutely perfect for that. There is a wire bender and a cap lifter. The cap lifter's okay. Um, it's useful if you've got nothing else. Then there's a small but very sharp blade. Now I tend to keep this sharp. I strop it quite a lot. I haven't had to sharpen it too much, but stropping works well. I try and keep this clean if I can, um, and it's really useful. It's, it's small, but super sharp. Looking at the other tools on here, I also have a very small pair of scissors. Now these work well on fingernails, but they work really well on paper as well. The Victorinox scissors are excellent. And I think it's always great to have a pair of scissors it's much better than just using the knife. These are very precise. If I need to cut any paper or anything else, then these work perfectly. And then the last tool on here is the nail file and small flathead screwdriver. That's really useful if I've caught a nail, if I've got a cracked nail, um, this works out well. I have used it to file a few other things as well. And then I wouldn't call it a tool, but I call it something really useful. This has a pen. So if you open this up, then you have a pen that you can write with really easily. I tend to save this for emergencies, so I don't use the ink up too much. So that's a Midnight Manager, a great all round knife. 
Typically, as well as that, I carry another blade, a larger blade, because I do recognize there are some limitations with that small one. So let's have a look at some of my secondary knives. Starting with this, the Victorinox Bantam Alox. This is a really nice, super slim knife. It has a decent sized blade, which is good steel as all the Victorinox are. And then it has a secondary tool, which is the combination tool. And on here you have a flathead screwdriver, a cap lifter that's also a bottle opener and a wire bender as well. So a really useful tool. I really like the look of this. The other added benefit is that it's so slim, it can even fit in my wallet. So I can have that instead of the Rich Arts tool, and then it's always there. So that's the Bantam Alox. Another knife that I carry a lot, another Alox. This is the Pioneer X Alox. It's quite a chunky knife, but it has a really good blade and a thick blade as well. One of the things about this is that the tools are slightly thicker than on the standard Victorinox knives. It's got the can opener and the small flathead, and then it has the large flathead, bottle, um, bottle opener or cap lifter and wire stripper. Then we have the awl, and this inline awl is brilliant. It works really well. It's much better than the back tool all that you see on some of the Victorinox knives really works well. And then of course, my favorite tool on here altogether, just turn it round and it's the scissors. So these scissors are great. Like all, Vin all Victorinox scissors, they cut well, and these are a decent size. So that's the Pioneer X Alox. Here we have the Spyderco Grasshopper. Now this is the only Spyderco I have. It's a really nice little knife. It fits well in your hand, a good three finger grip. And because of the choil, it's not gonna close on your fingers. It's super sharp, both at the point and on the edge. It's 12C27, so it keeps a decent edge, but it's really easy to sharpen too. I find this great for slicing fruit, and it's one of the ones that I carry quite often in addition to the Midnight Manager. It's a great little super slicer. And then the last one is this, this is the Boca Atlas. So again, it's a nice sized blade. Uh, it's a Boca knife. This is 12C27 as well. And it has a decent edge. It holds the edge well. This has a hollow grind. I don't know if you can see it here, but it, it's got a really nice, thin blade which is great for slicing has a deep carry clip as well so that's all of my knives my primary and my secondary knives so i've gone through all of the five items there's the wallet that was my first item a minimalist wallet so i've got cards and cash then there's the gerber mini multi-tool followed by the olight torch then a watch and my midnight manager that I always have in my fifth pocket, followed by one of these other knives. And I do have a few other knives that I put in rotation, but, but those four there are the main ones that I carry as well. So these have made such a difference to my everyday life because I always have these with me, so I know what I have available to use. Now, I did say that there was a bonus item, and let me just pop the light off. First this one, and now the main light. So with the main light off, you can maybe see the bonus item. So here you've got the luminous dial on my Citizen. Now over time that would fail. Um, it, it goes dim after a couple of hours. But here you can see the tritium vial that I use to mark where my keychain is. So this means that if it's next to the bed, at night uh, and I'm getting ready to go out early in the morning I know where my keys are so it's a small tritium vial this is the bivy firefly and I'll put a link to this in the description as well I find that's super useful 
It's tritium, so it never goes dim. I hope you found this useful. These five items make such a difference. Let me know what you think in the comments, as always. If you haven't already, why not subscribe? It really helps me to know that I'm making the right sort of content. I've got loads more already. Why not check out this video or this playlist? Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.